Hi everyone, welcome you all. In this video, I'm going to show you how many ways we can identify the elements on mobile app. So there are two ways we have. So one is through Appium Inspector, we can do that. The other one is from SDK UI Automator is one of the component is available. So by which also we can identify the elements and we can get the locators. So first let us start with uh, Appium Inspector and to use this option, we have to first start with Appium server desktop now let me just run this icon and it will start opening appium desktop server now you can see here this is appium desktop server is started and once it is started just click on the start server and before starting the server let us connect to your mobile device or it can be virtual device also fine so using visor i have connected my uh, mobile device uh, through my system now i'll just show you here so this is my mobile device which is connected all right so this is my mobile device is connected and uh, let me just click on start server so that my appm server will start all right so now here you can see one option called uh, start inspector session so by using this option we can identify the elements on the app which is there in the mobile so before that let me open a uh, app which is already installed on my mobile let's go to this particular one and uh, the app is android uh, ui so this is my app which is already installed let me just click on this app now it will give you few links here so let's say android switch android status and when i click on the show alert we'll get some alerts here and this is a drop down we can see here and we can select one of this option there is a progress bar right so let us try to identify these elements on this particular mobile device and to do this we have to just go to this particular start inspector session click on this now it will open up one more session like this one more window all right so in this particular window we have to first of all specify uh, capabilities all right so now here we can see one capabilities option so here we need to specify the all the capabilities desired capabilities of my mobile like uh, name of the uh, mobile android version and all the stuff so previously i have already given these details of my mobile and save those desired capabilities under here so you can also save your capabilities uh, in future uses once you have added all the capabilities you will see the save as option so once you save your capabilities that will be appear under saved capabilities sets so here my mobile capabilities have sa already saved earlier so i'm just selecting this and click on start session when you click on the start session and uh, it will connect it to your mobile all right so it will run into issues so just one more time just select this one and uh, click on this uh, start session or just like a click on the start session and just go back a little bit here okay now click on the start session yes so now it is uh, identifying uh, the session of your mobile. Let's wait for a few seconds. Let's just try one or two times. Yes, now it is open up one window here. Yes, now you can see here the mobile uh, window screen is captured. So once you capture this mobile window screen, here you have an option called uh, search an element, search for element. So by using this option, we can find out any of these elements which are present inside this mobile. So as soon as I have opened my mobile, the first screenshot has been captured. Suppose if you want to identify one element, like I suppose I want to identify this uh, uh, switch status, right? So we need to just uh, click on the switch status. Now, accordingly, it will show you the source code. And uh, again, it will also show you ID, XPath, and the index number, text, and class, and package. So these are the details will be populated. And similarly, if you want to identify some other element, just click on this progress bar, I want to identify. Then here, this is a source code which is highlighted. And this is the ID which is changed and XPath. And similarly, index, text, class, and package, and so on. So for example, uh, when I click on the show alert, a link in my mobile app, so it will open up one more alert, right? So now we want to identify these two elements, like SR, no button. But the screen is not reflected in your screenshot. So to reflect this, you have to just click on this uh, refresh source and screenshot. When I click on the refresh source and your screenshot will be refreshed. So now we got this alert window and then you can just use this option 
again click on this alert on the image then you can see the source code is highlighted and accordingly the elements uh, locators also displayed here so this is id and here we can see xpath and then index text and so on so we can use these attribute and values in your automation code so as soon as you just change your screen just refresh here the older will screen will appear okay now i'm closing this mallet window in my mobile app i closed it but the screen is not reflected here you have to again reload here or refresh the source and then your screen will be refreshed and you will get the old screen okay so this is how we can identify these elements by using the first option that is appm inspector so to use this particular option you have to start your appm server and you, your server is up and running and then you to use this particular option start inspector session and inside this again you have to specify all the desired capabilities of your mobile and then only this one we are able to identify your mobile device and app then accordingly we can just uh, get each and every element which are present in your app so this is the one way of uh, getting the elements or getting the attributes of the elements while doing our automation testing and apart from this we have another way uh, by using ui atom ui automator also we can capture the elements so now i'll show you how we can do using ui automator and uh, i'm just closing this one appm server screen okay still my mobile is uh, open and connected so let's see how we can use this ui automator and this ui automator is uh, basically part of sdk so we have to go to sdk uh, folder where we have installed this is android sdk so in android sdk folder you can see one folder called tools inside the tools you can again go to bin directory inside the bin folder you can see ui automate ui automator viewer dot bat file so this is called as a ui automator so by which also you can identify these elements but we have to execute this one and before executing this one so you will run into some issue it requires a adb.exe but in the latest versions of uh, sdk but what you have to do is you have to copy uh, from the tools or from the platform tools you will have adb.exe file right so you have to just copy this file from here and then go to your tools and bin folder and paste it over here okay i have just shown you in the presentation just here so just get this adk.exe from platforms tools and put that into under sdk tools and bin folder or wherever your ui automator viewer is present so in the same directory or the same folder you have to keep this file so once you open this file and then just uh, right click or double click on this file then it will open up uh, ui automator viewer or you can just open a command prompt like this cmd and here also you can just run this bad file so let's say ui automator dot bad so when i execute this command it will give you uh, one more ui it will open up one more ui let me just show you all right so now it is open one more ui so once you executed this bad file you can see this ui so as soon as you have seen this ui now by using this ui also we can identify these elements okay so in this case your appm server no need to be run so sdk will automatically identify your device now how we can use this tool to get uh, uh, attributes of the element let me open the app again now my app is open now i need to find out all the elements attributes of these elements in the app what we have to do is just we have you can see two options are there here one is uh, the first one and second one so just click on the uh, the first one okay now it is trying to capture the screenshot of my mobile screen now we can see the screenshot is up here so as soon as you get your screenshot just highlight whichever element you want to identify suppose i want to identify this android switch right so let's click on this android switch now it will identify the source code here and index text resource id basically resource id is a id property and this id property we can use whenever you are trying to identify this element and class is available and package is also available so similarly i want to identify this drop down just click on this drop down and to show and click on this drop down image and then you can see uh, malaysia is by default selected and resource id class and package name will be there so just you need to highlight this element and click on this element on the image and uh, in the next window you can these are two windows you can see the one window is the source code the other window is the attribute and their values suppose uh, in my mobile i have just uh, 
open this alert window click on the show now this is not part of the screen image right so if you want to get these two elements also just you have one more option here called refresh so there is a small other icon second icon in the middle just click on this refresh and it will go and catch the uh, screenshot one more time so this is a new fresh screenshot again select this click on this yes button now it will give you elements and attributes of this particular yes button and i want to close this now so i have closed now again now again i want to refresh my screen so let's go to the second option icon here again click on this now it will be refreshing okay again you are getting the previous screen so here you don't see any x path but when i get the properties using uh, appm search option so i go, i can see the x path but here it will not display the x path so that's the only thing you will miss here but other than this the rest of the attribute and properties and everything will be displayed here so this is how we need to just use a ui automator viewer from sdk to locate that element as soon as you have run this bat file right so just now have just ran this bat by ui automator viewer dot bat file then you will see the new screen like this okay and appm server is not at all required if you want to use this ui automator viewer so these are all the two different ways we can get the attributes of the elements and we can use them in your automation code all right so that's all for video so we'll see rest of the things in the next videos thank you all